Welcome to a walk through history with Cheshire Archives. Have you discovered or rediscovered the joys of walking in your local area in 2020? Or maybe become more aware of the places around you or curious about how things have changed? Cheshire Tithe Maps Online is the best place to explore historic local maps and compare them with up-to-date maps and aerial photos. My name is Lisa and I will be your guide. I'm not live today, so you can pause and replay this video at any time to listen again or have a better look. At the Record Office in Chester, we keep safe and secure thousands of historic maps, and you can see them if you visit. With lots of the documents we keep as evidence of how Cheshire life is lived, online access is not like seeing, touching, even smelling the real thing. Why should you get online for historic maps? Because it is actually a better experience. It is easy to find the places you're interested in, roam around, and zooming in is easier than peering through a magnifying glass to see all the detail. Before we get online, a bit of background. Who doesn't love a good map? We have hand-drawn, published and printed ones, all shapes and sizes, created for all kinds of reasons. To plan canals and railways, survey land, routine admin. That drink map in red in the bottom right hand corner, by the way, it's not a pub crawl mapped out. It was published to campaign against the excessive numbers of pubs in Birkenhead. Early maps were not detailed or practical. Ogilby's road map from 1675 won't help you navigate, but it will tell you what to expect on the journey. Map makers or cartographers didn't have the scientific instruments or specialist technology that create accurate mapping today. Maps were hand drawn using local knowledge, memory, the view from a high place or guesswork. You need to know why a map was drawn to really understand it. Early maps are good evidence of how people viewed their place in the world, but the best maps tell us where, when and why they were made and who made them. Map makers began to add a stamp to their work called a cartouche to show this. This beauty has the date 1762 and all the necessary information. Monk's Coppenhall is now crew, but you wouldn't guess that from this extravagant Chinese themed cartouche. Chinoiserie was all the rage in the 1760s. The Kew Gardens Pagoda was completed in 1762. If the date had been left off, the cartouche would help us guess. Map making became more scientific in the 1700s, which is when Ordnance Survey began. And from then on, maps can be much better evidence of how the places where we live are constantly changing. Bearings and scale are also clearly presented. Did you know, by the way, that a Cheshire acre is larger than a standard acre? An acre described the area of land that could be ploughed with one person and one ox in a day. Conditions in Cheshire made it twice the usual size. Now to the tithe maps. What are they? Tithe comes from the Old English word for tenth and is the name given to the tenth share of local produce that must be given by the parishioners to maintain the local clergy. Ten piglets, one for the vicar. By the 1800s the system was failing. It would never work for growing populations in towns and cities, it was difficult to collect and confusing, causing long and costly disputes, even riots. A survey was needed to convert produce into a money value. Starting in 1836, it took 15 years. The tithe maps show numbered plots and had an accompanying book called an apportionment, literally how the land was portioned out. This identified the owners, occupiers, plot name and number, and what the land was used for. Cheshire Tithe Maps Online is where a 19th century land survey meets 21st century mapping technology. We chose tithe maps because, as you can imagine, any survey done to value land for tax reasons is going to be an accurate one. Details are recorded, drafts produced and meetings held to settle disputes. 90% of Cheshire is covered 
and these are the earliest large-scale maps of whole parishes and townships. In 2005, with Heritage Lottery funding, Cheshire's tithe maps, over 400 of them all together, were scanned, every plot outlined, geo-referenced by fixing features from the historic maps like crossroads and bridges to their positions on modern maps, parish boundaries were cut out so that individual maps could be pieced or stitched together, which gives us this beautiful patchwork for the county. Finally, the information from the apportionments became 250,000 nuggets of data linked to every plot thanks to a remarkable remote volunteering project. Now for a video that takes us step by step through all the features. You might prefer to put your postcode in the search box and just get going. You can do that, have a play. If you like, open another window in your browser and open up Tithe Maps Online from a quick Google search or the button on our website. But if you get stuck or want to get the most out of the site, this video guide is always there to remind you. The video will show how the site appears on a desktop or laptop PC, and you won't hear my voice. I'll be back in about 10 minutes with some suggestions for using the site.
Hello again. So what do you think? There's a lot to take in. Best thing to do, get going with a simple postcode search. Doesn't have to be your own postcode. This is the postcode for the record office in Chester. And we can just get used to closing down the windows that we don't need. Zooming in. Dragging the map around to get our bearings down Lower Bridge Street and up Duke Street. Using the slide button to reveal more or less of a map. Using the fade slider, the transparency slider, to overlay one map on top of the other so that we can see how things compare. Next, have a go with the change maps button. Don't forget there are nine options. You might need the scroll bar here to see them all. There are four sets of aerial images covering 1971 to 2017 and three sets of Ordnance Survey covering 1875 to 1910. The default maps that appear when you open the site are always tithe and modern. But you can mix and match pairs of options using the left map and right map. Here we can see what a difference 15 years makes in aerial images. Out and about in Cheshire with your smartphone handy, if it's safe to stop and use your phone, visit the Tithe Maps online site in your usual browser. Google Cheshire Tithe Maps or get the page ready before you set off. On a phone or tablet, the site looks a little different as the maps display above one another, not side by side. So the slider works up and down. But this is where the compass button really comes into its own. That's this button here. It looks like this. Click the compass icon, zoom in to show you what was on the exact spot you were standing on over 150 years ago. Click on a numbered plot. Who worked or occupied it? What was it used for? Spot something old? Guess how old? If it's not on the oldest tithe map, change the maps. Spot it going back through time. When does it disappear? You now know approximately when it was built. Did you guess right? Why not have a longer look from a device back at home? Start a search with the postcode, retrace a route. Are the roads and paths still the same? Which buildings are still there? Reimagine you walk 150 years ago, 100 years ago or 50 years ago, changing the maps or aerial images and using the transparency slider. If you can't get out and about, think about a route you used to know well. You walk to school, a journey to work. Retrace it on the tithe site. If you click on the modern map side and get a street view option, you can see if it's the same as you remember. Here's another idea that colleagues at the record office have shared on Twitter this year recreating images from our historic image collection. Lots of them are online. You can search the Cheshire Image Bank for a place or local landmark. Here's a search for Thelwall. and gives a few results. On this image here. Here's the image in a bit more detail on Twitter. If a building is not there anymore, you'll probably need historic maps to pinpoint where it has disappeared from. We worked out exactly where to take this image from. And you can just see the roof of this building from the exact same spot on the old railway, which is now part of the Trans Pennine Trail.
Finally, I shouldn't finish without telling you that other brilliant historic mapping sites are available. If you want to look at Cheshire Ordnance Survey in amazing detail from the 1870s to the 1960s, you should Google National Library of Scotland maps. The scale and clarity for Ordnance Survey is better than on our site, but start with us and then investigate printed mapping further with them if you need to. You can also pop across the border to Wales, Google Welsh tithe maps. I hope you have everything you need to get exploring Cheshire tithe maps online. You can contact us via the form on our website for support or advice. You never know where a historic map journey will take you.